Hi, it's been a hot minute. I went all over the place. I had my exams and I had the pre-exam period. I got really sick. Then I had the exam, then we went into lockdown. School went in lockdown. My mood just kind of, you know, died. <sighs> like, my apartment has just not been finished since I moved here, which was in May. So I decided to just spend a week recovering from exams and painting. So I'm in the mood to get back into it. Then to start with a nice quick episode of Tell Me Why. So let's get into it. So excited. And if you're enjoying the series so far, I would really appreciate if you would like the video and help me spread a little bit and to let me know that you're enjoying it. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead, we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. My numbing labor is a great way to forget your troubles. It's called mindfulness. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Oh, the mummy there with the puzzle. Rude. Goblin faces keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning. But I left you the toilet. 
How very generous of you. Hmm. That's mom's room. And you just put a sticker on there without looking at anything else. Hmm. Subtle. No, they're upset with the mom. Understandably, she went after them with a shotgun. I like it. You can sell it to me. I buy it. Don't have any money. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. Excuse me, what? Left shift. You're what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. Whatever you say, horse face. We have the same face. <laughs> They're twins. Okay, check! Check the va This is the third time I'm talking about vases. Okay? At the start, they talked about the vase that they broke and that mom got upset because they broke a vase. And then, last episode, there was like this flashback, because in this game we get flashbacks, where Eddie Brown was so nervous about the whole situation that he stumbled and broke a face. And now they're talking about a face again. This face means something. I tell you. I'm calling it now. Face means something. Can we check if there's a horse in there? Can we check? Can we? Yes. Like, look at that couch. I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't want that couch? But that is a nice couch. Stain. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. You are no better. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. Uh -huh. <laughs> At least I didn't hurt his name. Ninja. That's a nice picture. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. See, I was looking at that picture earlier and I was like, God, it's so obvious like the, the problem is obvious like on the right you have the allison who is clearly like hey this is me and then on the left you have who is now tyler and he's like okay i'm a girl and i put a clip in my hair because girls put clips in their hair therefore i put a clip in my hair because i'm a girl yeah, yeah i mean most of them are pretty happy memories i guess you look cute here that's not me i mean it is but don't oh, worry, I get it. But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Death therapy help? Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right, what's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've come. Yeah. Let's take a look at that one. Big, big fish? Who's that? Is that Eddie? I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? No. Memory? Where is it? Oh, over there. Nope. Where is it then? Over there. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. So hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it.
My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Okay. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. That's the bratty part. Should have named you Brad. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. Clean. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? That's a cool coffee table. Okay, never mind. Guess it's going to the junkyard. Is it? I, 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 was I supposed to say something? I, well, did I get a dialogue thing and didn't see it? I don't know. I like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. I have faith in you. Well, if you like it, keep it. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Yeah. Save it. Pick up. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think why? It's permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. But that but but no. But look at that couch. Look at it. Okay, but where something was sparkling. Where's the sparkle? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the sparkle? Oh, there. <sighs> He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison. When we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other rooms. That sounds fair? Yes. Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna trash this couch? Can I have it? I need a couch. I know there's I know there's a couch back there, but it's really small. Are you gonna keep doing that? Yes. Yes, you are. Yeah. He used to have one of those things. I don't know what happened to it. I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. What is a vole? You know, she was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing what? Mary Ann actually knew what she was doing with some of this wildlife. What's a vole? Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you. Just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. What is a vol? <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. What is a vol? Uh, it's one of these things. It's a fluffy puffer. Look. What to do with this? Left you. Not caps, left you. Table? Keep it! You're about to move to a new place. You, you need sucks. furniture. This one's an Allison and Tyler original. Is it? Oh. Hello. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. 
but well, let's say cute to the rescue goblins were here ah fair enough okay what's next it's a nice couch thing though too bad it's like attached together this i would love to have this in my house i wonder if you can make this you already picked out a table like between those two What's that smell? What smell? What's that smell? What's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Nice. A skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Good man. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. She so had a feeling, and he was kind of making it obvious last time that. The mom was seeing Sam. What are you doing? Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. Okay, I'm not done looking around. I'm not done looking around though. I just want to do the looks here a little more. Are you hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm, no good. Hey, Queen Free, you want coffee? No. I, in fact, only drink tea. Dump in cake. Dump in what? Dump... It actually says dumping cake. Dumping cake. Ingredients. One can cherries. Not even off cherries. Just can cherries. One can crushed pineapple. Eight ounces chopped walnuts. Ground control to Major Allison. Yeah. I guess we're not reading this recipe. Grouch wants us to come take a break. Brad wants us to come take a break. Then I'll just come take a break with, with Brad. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? You got tea? Yes, Earl tea! Gray or chai? Oh, gray. Your call. I'm fixing oh. myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on my caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. What does that mean? Where's memory? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's somewhere here. Oh, over here. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. Dare come back before the new moon. You shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh. <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. The binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We yes. Let's go take a look. Let's take a look. Kitchen drawer. Right here, right? Right? There's a book here. Oh, he does it. Okay. 
Did you find it? Hey, Allison. Let's look at our drawings. Allison's first drafts. Right. It's a bear. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. <sighs> Can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? No uh, yeah. way! She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. I actually, actually, I actually said something like this in the previous episode from the videos from like an eternity ago. I made two observations and one I want to recant. I thought like the, the, she, the, the, uh, yes, the mom read a story where she buried her tiara and would be a free princess or was no longer print or whatever. And I took that as she lost her job. But now I think in hindsight, it was she got divorced or lost a lover or something. You know, the tiara is a ring. She buried her greatest treasure. And we also theorized that, like in most of the story, she has a few forest friends, which is the pelican, the bear, the frog, and someone else. I forgot. And I tried to link them to the people in real life. Because in one of the stories, those four gave her gifts. Yeah, up to date. Okay, let's so there's the pelican, there's the bear. Oh yeah, it was a moose. The moose is fishing. Who were they fishing with? Sam. I think the pelican... No, the frog gave her endless gold. That was it. Oh my god, you want me to read all this? You want me to read all this? The princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch. This is the story when she got the presents. Which, when lit, revealed the truth. Hmm, is that the princess? Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark and that I have always see right in front of me. She opened the second box. Inside there was a magic sword, which would leap right out of the bear's, bear's hands. She opened the third box. Inside there was a bag of coins that I always provided money if there was something the bear truly needed. Hmm, is that the princess? Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food. The moose is Sam. Don't make me read this whole thing. You know how big this thing is? I think I have to look for corresponding stories. The bear and the princess. Once upon a time in the Asian and deep forest, the old bear stood on the bank of the river, swiping at salmon on their way to the spawning grounds. Just as he got his paw on a particular fat one, he heard a woman shouting for help. He considered simply eating his salmon, but then and she screamed again, and he lumbered off to investigate. After a short walk, he found a princess clinging to the top of the tree, while a wolf snarled and snapped at the base of the tree. Abusive ex? Old bear would normally not get in the middle of such a situation. After all, as a fellow predator, he understood the... Oh, that got dark real quick. He understood the wolf's need to... Not getting any better. When he saw the princess, he he was struck by her beauty. And he knew he had to help. Okay, the bear is Sam. The old bear fell back down onto all fours and stared at the princess with the garden. You can come down, he said. How do I know that you didn't save me so you could just eat me yourself? Asked the princess. I suppose this is a fair question. He admitted the old bear, but I promise I won't eat here. Yes. Okay, I understand that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I think I know who is who. The pelican would be the would be uh, Tessa, and the bear would be uh, Eddie, and this would be Sam. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Find gifts from the bear. A fresh caught salmon, a handful of ripe berries, a newly bloomed bluebell. 
One day, the old bear came with a ring of spruce and asked the princess to be his bride. I'm sorry, said the princess. You are a very good friend, and I appreciate all you've done for me, but I cannot marry your bear and princess. It would never work. The old bear was crushed. Can we still be friends, he asked. We will always be friends, said the princess, but I will never marry you. How do I... I'm an idiot. Is that supposed to be Tess? Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah. But there was always a catch. Yeah, that's Tess. Oh, I'm supposed to align the... Oh, okay, I see. You go here. No. You go there. This one. I don't know. If Sam is the fish... Oh, we'll just swap. Okay, Sam... So... We know Sam. Yes, I'm done. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one. Too bad the law isn't really just. Yeah, okay. Eddie is the most. Eddie is the fishing moose. Maybe I missed Saul, like who it was in the vision with the fish. I first thought it was Eddie, and then I thought it was Sam. Because he sounded like some. But I have them. I know I have them. What do I do now? Lurking. Yeah. That's Sam. He even was still in the house when we got back. Even though she's been dead for ten years. She's dumb. No. Oh, show Tyler. Okay. I think I'm done. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Totally. Definitely. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Okay, well let's take a look. Yep, totally Marianne. Yeah. Why a princess though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. Okay. Is the mad hunter? Maybe that's the abusive ex. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. I don't know. Oh. You better hurry, or the mad hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. going on I I don't know is he here is he really here I'm scared go away yeah go back to the forest yeah abusive abusive ex slash dad I forgot about that we've been pretending he was there and then Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? I was there. Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great. Whoa. Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Okay. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins! I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Edgy? Every man needs a good knife. There you are. 
Thanks, Sam. Good. Good. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Thank you for every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. Fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Sam, such a weirdo. We're leaving it here. But thank you, everybody, for coming to check me out and for watching me. If you did like the video, please give it a big thumbs up so that the algorithm also knows it's a nice video. And if you want to stay up to date with the with the series, then subscribe to the channel. Then go to Instagram and add me on Terry underscore gaming. I give updates on what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. And also if the video is being delayed because I'm a full-time student and a part-time worker. So full schedule. And if you're asking, if you're wondering about sport, yes, we will continue sport. I'm just looking for the right moment. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.